welcome to our new homestead. I just wanted to do a quick little tour for um, summer 2019 and kind of record what we've got going on here so far. Uh, we did just move to this property. It's a smaller place than, than our other one. We do maintain our other acreage and keep animals there still. But um, we have a few animals here and we were lucky enough to move into a place that had um, some gardening already going on and, and um, berries and things like that. So I'm gonna show you what we've got happening. Bunnies. Meet Ash, who is the black lion head. And Stan Lee is the uh, gray Rex mix bunny there. They are getting to town eating their, their hay. Evelyn, my daughter, she decided to try out bunnies. So we have these two male bunnies. I already took a shot of bunnies but the other day, but we've recently just moved them outside. So here's another. We've decided they might be a little happier getting some fresh air out here. This is not their permanent spot. Um, we just have this dog crate right now and we're in the process of building them something a little better. But for the time being, they seem to be happy. Hello, Leia. How are you today? This is Princess Leia. She gives us all the yummy goat milk to drink and put in our baked goods and make soap. Oh, here come the other goats. Here they come. There's Lacey and those are all her kids. These three were born this Larry, Moe, and Curly, and then in the back there she came Twist. She's from the last time she kitted. These are some of my fiber goats that I have here at this property. And we have several other goats at our other property. Goats are crafty little critters, aren't ya? Aren't you? I think you are, that, this is Larry. Hey Larry. And the goat behind him, that's Curly. This goat right here that we put the blue collar on, this is Mo, and he's the one that for sure I want to keep. These other two I might put up for sale. I haven't decided yet. And we're also, of course, keeping Twist. She's up there. Raspberries! These are so delicious. We are loving eating these raspberries. Um, mm, yummy. Earlier I took a video and it was way too windy out here. I think this one will turn out much better now. You can see our beautiful raspberries. And my mother-in-law has way more raspberries than I do. So I just have this little stretch here. But it's yummy for eating and munching. Um, it will probably will contribute to our jam making, but most of our jam berries will come from my mother-in-law's house. Mmm. So good. Strawberries. I don't know if there's any left. The kids may have come out and eaten them all. Oh, some died there. Yeah, I think the kids have nibbled all the strawberries that were on this bush. And then right here, we have soon to be blackberries. Look at all these wonderful blackberries we're going to have. You know what's really great? is that the previous owners of this home put this in the center of this little yard, side yard that is here, in this little garden boxed area. And so they're really easy to manage and take care of. Uh, that is a walnut tree that planted itself and we need to uh, get that out of there. Um, and down, just down from the goats here, I have a trellis that has grapes growing on it. Oh, grapevine. So that's exciting. I'm excited to be able to make some grape juice. Hopefully these are 
are nice sweet grapes. We'll find out. And then right here next to the grapes is a walnut tree that was planted where it's supposed to be, I believe. Not like the walnut tree that planted itself into the uh, blackberry bushes. But anyway, so I don't know yet whether or not we're going to keep this walnut tree. We don't do nuts. We have allergies. <laughs> but other people might, and I know I can use them um, in my dyeing natural dyeing tannins and things of that nature so we'll see what happens and uh, over behind it here is the um, terraced garden area and it looks awful right now please pardon it the weeds have gotten out of control uh, we didn't even plant anything on this side right here it's just weeds um, over there with that bucket sitting and where there's more dirt is where we've actually planted a vegetable garden. We do have some potatoes up there and um, some things are coming up. We have done some weeding down here. Obviously we need to do more weeding. Um, but we just really, I mean we moved in in April and, and we're still getting settled when it was time to plant. So we just kind of threw things in the ground. I got here. I think I've got some um, I think that might be a zucchini down there. Maybe that's it here. I don't know. Oh, I can't remember. I have to look at my garden chart. Aren't I a great gardener? <laughs> and even over here we put some, a few carrots. That's carrots. These are supposed to be purple carrots. Nothing came up in the middle, but I couldn't keep kids from climbing in this area. So I think that's what happened to most of the things that I planted on these lower ones. Kids and dogs had a hard time keeping them out of the, the garden. So in the front of our house we have this really long um, area that was kind of terraced, had a spot for planting and that's where we decided to put all of our squash. So our pumpkins and butternut squash and things are all along here, mostly pumpkins. I can see this mound hasn't done very well. We've got lots of weeds here. We're just, we weed eat around it and just kind of let it go. I've got a, got a plant growing there. These ones actually have some good blossoms on them. So hopefully this fall we'll get some nice pumpkins. We'll probably have more than we want and we hope to be able to share with our neighbors. So but it goes all the way down that way. Several mounds of squash amongst all these um, weeds at the front side of our front yard. So that's kind of fun. We want to utilize as much um, of our space as we can. We have moved, um, we moved from our six acre well, six acre plus property. We still own it and keep goats there, but we've moved to um, be closer to family and this property doesn't have as much acreage. So we're utilizing as much as we can, although this property has much better water and um, ability to grow things. So we're really excited about that. Well, I hope you enjoyed seeing our little homestead um, and meeting the animals that I have here. Um, I should be visiting the other property um, shortly at some point. And so maybe I will do another video in, um, of that acreage there and, uh, and introduce you to the other goats. Um, we do use our goats for everything that God intended them for. So, um, yeah, and I hope to be able to talk about that more and write some articles about it um, and make, you know, more DIY videos and all that good stuff so you can learn. And um, yeah, anyway, I really hope that you enjoyed our little mini tour here. We don't have a whole lot going on yet, but I'm excited for what we do have going on and, um, and for the prospect of the future as we um, really make use of our new home and property. Thanks for watching and I hope you stick around, hit the subscribe and like and, and come back.